So the following is an overview of the account base uh, process, selling process, and uh, we're using the account Oryx as an example. So account base selling process, market segmentation, so we divide our market up, account segmentation, who are the accounts that we want to look at, and buyer segmentation, who's involved in the buying process, and user segmentation, who is the, uh, what is the buying process. And uh, the interesting thing about this, you can look at this for multiple accounts, but you can also look at it for a large enterprise account like Oryx uh, as an individual account. So Oryx Midstream, who are they? They are a mid, uh, midstream company and crude oil logistics provider. Um, this here is a sample of a, a, a network diagram of their pipeline that we got from the Texas Railroad Commission. And then here's off their website. So when we take a look at their website, <clears throat> you know, you can start to see there's, uh, when we talk about segmentation, market segmentation, we start to see some counties. We see Andrews and Martin, uh, we see Ward, we see Reeves up here in a Loving area. And then we get up in Eddy. So that can be looked at as our market segmentation. So we're looking at different geographic areas. And then within those geographic areas, they have assets, so they have terminals, and they have, um, uh, so trucking terminals, and they have pipeline interfaces, pipeline terminals, and then pipelines themselves. So within that, we can look at and break down their assets as individual, uh, say, accounts. An asset could be looked at as an account. So when I'm looking at this as a construction company that I do pipeline and facility builds, one thing that when I look at this account, I want to figure out how am I going to sell to the account? Um, you know, and, and one of the things that we look at is the transmission side, not the gathering, but the transition, transmission side of their pipeline network. Who's involved in the decision-making process? What is their decision-making process? We want to look at that as its own individual segment saying we got the transmission pipeline let's try and figure out when they're going to add new transmission pipeline what's the you know who's involved in it what's the buying process when they're going to do maintenance who's involved in the decision making process uh, and what is the decision making process then we again go in and we segment the market a little bit deeper and wider so uh, we look at midland as a major area they've got a massive tank farm so then that's essentially where they're uh, the head office most of the decision makers are and then they've got uh, related to it up in the Martin area and uh, up in the Andrews area you know we've got different terminals associated with it we can also look at well who are the main operators that they're servicing in those areas and then we also see the pipeline segment that they have on that side of it so our objective here is to uh, look at these almost as individual accounts who's involved who operates those accounts who are the terminal managers? Who are their supervisors? Um, and who are the area managers? How? What's the relationship with the head office? If they decide they're going to do an upgrade or add new gathering pipeline, what involvement does the field office have versus the head office? And what is their buying process? So we want to identify that, and we want to uh, uh, um, be able to document that and understand how we can generate leads out of this particular area. Again, Reeves, very popular area for them. Lots of gathering pipelines. Uh, we've got our truck station. We've got our terminal station. Uh, we've our central point. We've got an interconnect. Each one of those having people involved in uh, the maintenance, the operation of those sites, and presumably would be involved in the decision making of any new projects associated with it. Here are the key operators in the area. And then so when we go and we look at our sales objective, identify uh, the people involved in the buying process and the buying process. And then our concept is working from the outside in. So how can we get out, talk to these uh, individuals, document who they are, and then uh, see if we can get some sponsorship into the head office to ensure that we can get an MSA and start doing some lead generation. This process now becomes repeatable we've got their crane assets so we've got a truck station we've got an internet connect station we've got no gathering pipeline but we know they are looking at a project in this particular area so how are we going to manage that appropriately ward some uh, gathering pipeline we've got the crude terminal uh, we've got the the uh, truck station there um, who are the people there what's the decision making process there who do they report into how does that hierarchy look? 
and can they help us with our sales objective when we look at that we so if we look at it again we've got some segmentation we're segmenting it by account we're uh, then we're looking at our account segmentation we're looking at each one of their assets essentially as an account that we need to be able to sell to <coughs> manage appropriately and then we we want to go through the process of the buyer segmentation who's involved in the decision making process as it relates to maintenance projects and greenfield construction projects and we see people that have titles like project management construction terminal operations supply chain executive so what we want to do is we want to highlight those particular individuals and we want to start going through the process of understanding what role do these individuals play in the decision making process and uh, and what is the decision making process as it relates to the assets that we've identified how that looks from a CRM perspective is uh, pretty straightforward sorry I should have been uh, it's pretty straightforward so if we go in and we look at uh, this is salesforce.com and the way that Salesforce works is that we've got our account records and then uh, and then everything gets related to an account record so here's our Oryx midstream and then when we look at the Oryx midstream the first thing that we want to do is we want to accumulate all of those contacts there so all the people that we think are involved in the buying process so this is me starting that particular process and we start to look at different titles uh, project management business development terminal operators executive so on and so forth so the list will go on of all of the contacts we don't really understand what role they play in the buying process yet and what is the buying process but we want to build out that structure in our CRM the contacts that we've identified then the other thing that we look at is our uh, market research so when we look at market research we've got explicit and implicit data explicitly I know where their operations are so if I come in here and I say hey let's take a look at uh, the, the crane facility I have an object inside of my instance of Salesforce that says crane that's that market segmentation the crane area and then in there we've got key assets that we know we want to sell to essentially accounts our objective at that particular point is to go out and visit these sites and then identify who the key decision makers are who the key people are and then what role they play in the buying process we want to be able to document all of that we want to make sure that we're adding all of our contacts there and we want to be tracking all of our activities all of the conversations that we're having with these particular individuals so if I go out and I meet uh, say here with uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, what you would call it uh, look for Tyler here I went out and I met with Tyler and then there is uh, Tyler and then I want to put my notes in uh, and the subject associated with it so essentially on the log of call I want to put my notes in there so I had a call with him I want to put in here this is a test and then uh, and then I want to come down and I want to pick the individual that I had that particular call with and I'm gonna save it so now we're building out we're starting the process of the implicit information gathering uh, process as it relates to the initial market research we've done at the account at the market segment level and then at the account level so I go to the crane truck station who is the operator out there what's the management structure look like who do they report to if they're gonna do a tank project who do we talk to if they're gonna add more pipeline what is the buying process so that's our objective then we're gonna go over to the pipeline station and repeat it we're gonna capture all the contacts associated with that we're going to capture all of the conversations that we're having and then our objective is to create a sales opportunity so now we know we've got the oryx crane texas expansion pipeline expansion and now we're going to manage that particular process and see how we do that this becomes totally repeatable for us so i've looked at this market i've got a crane and now when i come over here and i look at my other operations when i go out and i decide i'm going to target the Reeves area again just going through this particular process I've got uh, the main assets that I'm going out and visiting I'm adding my contacts I'm tracking my conversations and I'm creating my sales opportunities 
So that's how we take the account-based selling process that is really evolved, evolved around gathering both explicit and implicit market research to help us penetrate either grow existing customers that we have or bring on new labels associated with it.